Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. It's a very casual day today. Uh, it's Sunday, so yeah, basically there's not really much going on. I just did a little bit of makeup, like basically base with the Hourglass palette, which I will insert pictures of, a bit of lipstick mascara and my brows not sure if it will focus relevant enough for you to see there we go this is the look of the day i'm waiting for my friend robin to come we're going to go for a walk and a coffee because there's nothing didn't i have a cup of coffee i just thought i put it down on the bed <laughs> it went everywhere no it didn't it's all good uh we're going for a walk and coffee and i thought that today i'm going to finish some of my spring wardrobe sorting out and clean out so that I show you what's going on. I also need to do a massive food shopping because yesterday I did a fridge clear out. Let me show you. I have nothing, absolutely nothing in the kitchen, nothing to eat. This is not a joke. I mean, have you ever seen a fridge this empty? There's one banana, I froze on the rest because I need this one for breakfast this morning. I left the overnight oats in the fridge. These are kind of ready to be eaten. I have one soup, some Coca-Cola, some spreads. And then I bought on Amazon these little kind of drawers that you can just put stuff in, you know, like quite convenient actually. And basically you just, you know, like organize fridge a little bit better, which mine isn't. This over here is the cake that I got yesterday with some flowers. Wait, let me show you. This deserves showing. Here we go. It's my one million cake and I also got flowers with it. So it was a very, very big surprise. So my boyfriend sent me this with no note. And then I texted him being like, so I received these flowers and the cake and there's nobody else that would send it to me but you. And he said, yes, it's me. I don't know if it was a test, you know, but I don't think so, or not like that. Anyway, so um, food shopping, very necessary today. Uh, I just love weekends. I realized that I have not actually vlogged anything from this morning and it's already 3.30. My friend Robin came, we went for a walk, we had a coffee, discovered a new place, sunny and beautiful outside, we were hungry, got back home, I ate my overnight oats and then I really, really, like I told you, have to go and do some food shopping because I have nothing at home and I, I haven't done any food order in at least a month, like online, you know, like I haven't done any delivery, any deliveries, for food but today i said i cannot go to supermarket hungry because i will just buy so much stuff that i don't need i need to go like you know with the proper plan so i ordered my favorite little apple vegan beyond meat burger it's so delicious you cannot even imagine i haven't had this in a very long time i'm gonna have it now and then I'm gonna take you with me food shopping. I'm gonna show you how the whole like situation is outside with days getting longer. And it's very weird for me because actually my boyfriend's work really picked up. Like he has a lot of work. Lately he hasn't been at home as much as usually. So I'm home alone and he's like traveling a lot for work, of course, because during pandemic, like, I mean, you mainly can only travel for work and he has a lot of work. So he is away for a few days and it's kind of like really strange for me because the fridge is empty i feel like i'm kind of adjusting to this like a new wave of understanding how to function we're gonna do spring clean days are longer which means i have more light to work more motivation more everything I'm gonna eat my burger mm, this is the best it's so good mm. i also ordered it with a truffle truffle sauce which is delicious so i already started organization of all of this in my previous videos you guys could have seen i have organized the jewelry section i've organized pretty much my sunglass section my belts have never looked better at least i think so and now i still have to do you know like some general stuff coats used to be here now we removed coats so i only kept like five of the kind of like most important like thinner coats that i love wearing and having in my wardrobe but the rest is reorganized here i'm gonna have mostly like skirts and hanging stuff now much more space here because i've even rearranged the drawers now we have jeans in here and now here we have little things like accessories, socks, you know, fashion accessories. Yeah, I mean, I should get to the supermarket because you know what's gonna happen. It's 5.20, everything closes at 7. 
and then what's gonna happen it's gonna be like <laughs> It's gonna be 20 to 7 and I'm gonna say like no point going again today because everything's gonna close soon I will go today because otherwise tomorrow I'll be starving But I just received a big Amazon order and I know a lot of it is for the kitchen So I'm gonna unpack it with you guys to show you what is it that I got Okay, this is very easy. I got two English tea shops, Roybos Cacao and Vani. I love this one. It's one of my favorite Roybos's Finally, and then I got Rebus tea powder. Never had this before. I'm gonna try it for the first time. It goes in my matcha cabinet. Yes, I have a matcha cabinet because yesterday I organized everything and I will show you how. I don't really do work after seven or unless something is really urgent. We like have showers, we have dinner, and then we just watch stuff or talk or read or whatever, listen to the music and yeah when he's not around i'm like what do i do after seven you know so i organize because i'm still not using the phone what is this ah this is my new matcha bamboos you know frother because they say that this frots better than the electronic one that i have what is in here oh oh my god i'm so happy this has arrived okay i'll show you so i'm gonna organize a lot of different things in here like for example goji berries Things mainly for my breakfast bar. <laughs> I mean, there's not much of it, but I ordered different sizes, but I wanna have like the goji, the coconut, the nuts, and things like that. I want to have them in these jars because I think it's gonna be much nicer. And I'm just gonna make a Dymo sticker, like Dymo stickers for each. I ordered also a Dymo, so let's see if it has arrived. And you know what? <laughs> I actually often order, order like organizers for underwear and stuff, but this could be really nice, actually. Over here we have the massive pack of goji berries for my uh, breakfast. We have the, these are the protein pancakes mix because I really want to try this. We have, <laughs> guys, this is what happens when you're on Amazon at like midnight or something like that. I ordered a Dymo, but I really need a Dymo because I like to tag stuff. Oh, more protein cream. So if I have protein pancakes, I need to have protein cream as well. I also ordered like the bigger jars than these, sort of like, I think like, maybe smaller than this but bigger than the other ones so that i can put the oats or granola and stuff like that because the smaller ones are more like for nuts now this is sort of uh my little cup in my favorite part this is where i keep all the hot drinks so we have my curcuma vani my chai tea at the back i have the angelina hot chocolate my skinny protein that i adore the vanilla hot drink these are the chai chai vani this is my a skin kind of like the bronzage vitamin this is matcha green tea powder more matcha more matcha more matcha more matcha more matcha and more matcha because you never know then i also have here the matcha collagen the uh the m um one is it m i think it's m and the cacao glow so this is my hot drink and this is more of my coffee stuff the mocha machine peanut butter or almond butter in this case the pom thingy bob a lot of more chocolate spreads and honey so here i need to put my hot drink and stuff like that i actually am loving my hair lately i i don't know but i mean besides the hair color that i love but i really love how healthy it's been how much is growing and I don't know, like, it's a mix of all sorts of different things that I've shown you, but what I've been doing lately, once a week, this is not sponsored, I'm just honestly telling you, as that's what I use, is this Hair Ritual by Sisley, and it's basically restructuring, nourishing balm. It's very oily, so I'm gonna take off my rings. It's like a balmy, balmy thing. You can see how much of it I've already used. It smells like kind of like a planty but nice oh my god this mirror is driving me mad and if i open it it's even worse right okay it's better so it's kind of like balmy and i have another product of the same consistency so i want to show it to you let's dig it out i have also another one from oribe and if you look at it it's pretty similar except that this one is not see it's not clear 
They both smell okay, very similar, pre-shampoo intensive treatment, but for some reason I prefer the Sisley one for now. Who knows, I changed my mind when it comes to things like this, so I apply a very generous amount. But then, you know, you need to kind of start little bit by little. I know it might not seem that way, but I have a lot of hair, and yes, I'm gonna leave my house with all the greasiness on it, because we're in lockdown. It's not fashion week, so I really do not care because what I care about is that when we are out of lockdown, I am gonna have beautiful hair. That's kind of how I am. So I believe that now during this time in the world, you can work on yourself while we have more time and while the whole world has slowed down a little bit. I don't know, you can learn another language, you can invest in your beauty routine, you can work on yourself. So that's what I want to do. As you will notice, I put mainly on the two-thirds of the hair then i pass it on this side and i do the same because i sometimes find it that i otherwise don't you know apply equally but this way i will and i either sleep with this or i just leave it for a few hours but i believe that most of these masks after a few hours they they do their job you know like you don't need to sleep with them and now i'm gonna put it all up and we can head out to the shop because actually when it's tied up i mean who cares what it looks like, right? It's even better for my hair to be greasy because that's the only way to not have baby hairs or whatever fly out. It's the only way to have a hair like this. Otherwise, there is no chance because there's so much of it and it all flies around. I don't know if you can see it better here, but my hair just looks like... It just looks a little wet or like I applied some hair mousse to it. It doesn't even look... I don't know, it doesn't even look that terrible, but I will still put it up because I don't want to have the product on my clothes and I just put a blazer over the Michael Kors set that I was showing you earlier and we're heading out. I really should make a shopping list because I'm the kind of person that I go to supermarket to get like, um, for example, a new toothbrush and I come back with a steak. That's just me and I don't buy anything that I came for or went for, but I buy old things that I thought were necessary in the moment, so yeah. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Let's do a good job. I just came to my closest supermarket. Can never have enough of this. I really want to take avocados, but I hate, you know, the process of putting it in this bag. I think these ones you don't have to measure. It's per piece, but it's like so hard. Oh, too much effort. I want some chia, 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 because I want to show you how I want to prepare my overnight oats with chia and oats. Kidoki, this is it. This is the black chia. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't know what's worse, going to the supermarket on a full stomach or on an empty stomach, because on a full stomach, I don't even want to buy anything, and on an empty stomach, I want to buy everything. So, uh, it's just really, there is... I don't know. I think the list would have been the smartest thing to do. I was definitely not inspired to shop much. I just bought a few things for the week, which I've already unpacked. Like, you guys know, I cannot live without Coca Cola. I, I'm not really proud of this, but basically, I tried to shop and then I got really demotivated. Yep, demotivated to do the food shopping. I don't even know how that's possible, but basically, I ate a lot, I was so full, I was really not feeling dinner and I don't even think I'm gonna have dinner because I did like a juice cleanse so after juice cleanse I always have to take it easy the next day when I actually start eating so tomorrow, like just tonight, I'm gonna soak up the oats which I'm gonna show you how I do so that you can do it as well because it's so easy and it's so delicious I'll show you what I got and some of which I already unpacked but I thought I'd show you so I got these coconut seeds I had the flakes already but I wanted to buy these I bought some black chia because I didn't have any everything else was already here I didn't buy any more tea because I already had a lot granola oats all of this stuff like I'm all sorted I bought some blueberries I'm gonna wash these decant them into a little kind of you know what you call this like little pot this one's from zara home and i already ordered like a lot of those plastic ones that are for multi-use i call them tupperware even though they're not tupperware but tupperware is such a like a big thing for me growing up if you are the same leave a comment below but you know it's just that stuff for tomorrow's um oats i also got this because the rest i have frozen 
the ones that you've seen yesterday probably. I'm gonna decant the raspberries as well. We will need them and the fridge is still looking empty unfortunately. Let me see if there's like literally I'm so embarrassed about this but I feel like I don't really need much. We have just my favorites. Oat, coconut, Alpro almond, mango. This is for my acai bowl, which I also sometimes make. So yeah, very sad. Let's, I'm gonna unpack the Diet Cokes. I have this little, what do you call this? Like a shelf for cans, which I got on Amazon. And it's quite useful because I know where my drinks are usually. discuss how I do my overnight oats is like literally the easiest thing in the world and it's the most delicious breakfast for me. You will need some porridge oats, like the most simple ones like this. They're usually better than the quick oats because if you try and soak overnight the quick oats, they get a little bit soggy. So I prefer these. As you guys know, I don't measure anything. Last time I measured something was in my pharmacist days. I'm traumatized, you know, I'm traumatized since my lab experience. I hate measuring. So I pour some oats, like this is how much we got in. Okay, make sure you close your oats, put it back, don't create chaos, lol. Uh, then I like to add some cinnamon because I love the taste. I just have the most simple, this cinnamon, you know, whatever, like, you know, this is for the taste. And I like a lot of cinnamon. Then I add whatever else I want. I'm gonna add some linseed. The rest I have decanted in a pot, but I wanna finish the remainder. This is really good for digestion. That's it. I always buy the same brand of this. And I add one spoon. It's milk linseed. Then I add chia. And when they soak overnight, it's so nice. I also add like two spoons. You can add more than that because actually chias you can just soak up overnight by itself. It's also great for digestion. Then I like to add the goji's, goji berries, but not too much of them because they're apparently controversial. Then I do like to add a bit of coconut, but I add a little bit for overnight and the rest I add the next day. So at the moment mix looks like this. Ta -da! And you can just mix it all up. Mix, mix, mix. Black chia. Or two. Because I like it to be very... Yeah, that's it. This will be such a yummy breakfast. Now, milk. Either one of these two will be great. You guys know I like to mix them because coconut is a little bit more watery. And oat I love because it's creamier, but... The thing with the oat, I always think like, is it a bit weird to have oat and oat together? Okay, now we're gonna see. You know, people usually measure these things, not me. I just like to have this kind of like homogenous, okay? And then you see that there is, all of your dry materia is covered by milk, just covered, that's it. And this will be soaked up during the night. Then I take this, you can add like nuts or whatever you want, but the rest I always add when it's dry. So I put this in the fridge overnight, it's best when kept overnight. And in the morning I add like bananas, peanut butter, nuts, more coconut flakes or coconut, like milk coconut, whatever you want. And it's so delicious. I also have some like a beauty mix powder that I can like pour over and so on and so on. But to be honest, the best thing about oat soaking up the oats is that you can do plenty at once so you can even make like a massive pot but since i don't have a big fridge i tend to do like a pot at a time and also because i don't know what i'm gonna want to have for breakfast like on tuesday but maybe a sable so i don't want to have like oats just sitting in the fridge but tomorrow I definitely know I want to have oats, so that's easy. I also plan the days depending on, you know, what I'm gonna do. 
and tomorrow I have my cleaner in the morning so I don't want to be like in the kitchen while she's trying to do her work job and I'm like trying to do like you know my like making breakfast creating a mess and so on I just want to have everything ready so that I can have my coffee and my breakfast as I'm doing work without actually being in the way for anybody good morning everybody guess who it's a new day and today I did a little bit of makeup because because I had a Zoom call this morning. <laughs> so, you know, I did everything except from mascara. I don't have any mascara and I don't have any brow makeup because I laminated my eyebrows last night. If you guys want to see the process, you can watch a video. I will link it below. A video about all of my beauty treatments and what I have regularly done and what I had done on my face. Bed is a bit bare, as you can see, because we're changing the bedding this morning. Starting the week fresh, feeling great, you know, like doing everything. I also just had my coffee, but haven't had breakfast yet because I had that Zoom, so I was having coffee. But now I'm so excited for my overnight oats and I wanted to show you what we have this is what we have now we're gonna add toppings which is gonna be banana blueberries peanut butter or actually almond and coconut butter some more linen seed and maybe maca and vanilla so i'm gonna put this beauty super mix as well which includes lukuma acai, acai uh, baobab maca something and hibiscus and we're gonna mix that and very important for me is Cocoa Flakes. I love this so much. And I put the big ones and I put the tiny little ones too because I'm obsessed. There we go, the little ones. This mix, very, very, very important, trust me. Et voila, my breakfast is ready. I also have some raspberries and I was not gonna put them in, but now. I'm thinking, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Just a few, not more than a few. Okay, a little unexpected twist to this video, and I know that my OGs will know exactly where we are and what we're doing. I wanted to show you so many other things in today's vlog, so there's a massive like spring wardrobe update that I wanted to share with you. Like I've done a spring clean, I got so many new items in my wardrobe, like even new handbags, clothing, shoes, and I really wanted to show you like pieces that I have accumulated over the past few weeks. Nothing is sponsored, nothing is like, you know, so I thought it would be like super cute, interesting and organic, but I couldn't because there was a plot twist. I had to rush to England, um, it was unavoidable, and now I'm here, chilling, as you can see. Well, I cannot go anywhere, so it is what it is. Since I think this video is probably a little bit dry and not much going on, and specifically there's not really much fashion content, which I always like to make sure that there is some kind of fashion content in my videos, uh, because first of all, that's what I enjoy the most, and second of all, like, I'm not really like a kitchen organization influencer because I suck at it, in all honesty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to shop my wardrobe a little bit. Um, and I show you some pieces that since I'm already here by unforeseen circumstances, at least what I can do is um, I can at least show you something that could be interesting. I always think that I have many shoes when I'm in Paris and then I come here and I actually understand that this is like many shoes. <laughs> I mean, of course, of course, of course, don't get me wrong. I'm not ungrateful. What I have in Paris is a lot, but when I see this, I'm always like, <gasps> whereas when I lived here, I never really thought like, oh my God, there are so many shoes here, but now when I see it, I'm like, wow, there is so much here. And what I think I miss a lot, or well, I don't miss a lot because I have nowhere to wear any of these things. I love these pearl Jimmy shoes so, so much. I've had them for a few years and they just never, ever get old. Then look at these Pradas, like the really, really crystal, shiny, glittery ones. You know what, since I'm already here, I think I might grab these. They have never been worn because I got them at the very beginning of pandemic, like just before it started, and I wanted to get them for summer 2020 and then never ended up wearing them. But I don't think I have in Paris any turquoise shoes for spring. I also love 
my Bottegas, like these ones. You know, they're they're so cool, so classic. I know that my friend Sandra would be like, girl, bring some flats. This is what you need. Like these as well, I never wore. Look, brand new. Never worn, but I already have like two pairs of these grandpa slippers in Paris. So I'm not sure I really need a third pair. Definitely have a lot of stuff here. I love these also Jimmy Choo's. They're like smaller heels, so quite wearable. Of course, all of these Balenciagas, but I've worn them so much that I'm not even sure that they're still wearable because look at this. Literally wore them to death. Here you will see I picked some beauty products that I wanted to bring with me. And I think it's probably the best if I show you in Paris what I actually took because that's going to be most realistic. But these are some of the pieces. Then... Here are some of my favorite snacks that I ordered and I cannot wait to bring with me. I mean, obsessed much. I don't know, this is the Ella um, granola. The thing is, I really love Ella's kitchen. I love all of her snacks and they're not so available in Paris. So for me, the granola, I was like, okay, next day delivery, I need to get it because um, I want to bring it to Paris with me so that I have it there throughout the spring. That will be very nice and like, I don't know when I'll be. I'm like, I'm certainly not traveling to London for um, fun. I haven't been like, I think like since October. So I haven't seen my family for a long time, but then I saw my sister and then now I'm here because I had to come. So it's not like, I, you know, you, every time I'm here, I never know when is the next time I'm going to be able to be here, which is very difficult when you have all of your stuff in two homes. And I suppose all of you guys who have two homes, like I do, will be able to relate. So when I was crossing the border, officers asked me, like, where do you live? And I said, okay, I live both in London and Paris. And they said, yeah, that's fine, like, no problem, because a lot of people do have two homes, but it is very hard. It's making things very hard in every possible way during pandemic, because especially now that England is not in European Union, if I need something, my sister cannot even ship it to me because it goes through customs and then like customs want to charge me. Like it's such a massive ordeal. Things get stuck in the customs. Oh wow. On top of everything, of course, 2021 is the year that my documents are expiring. So my passport and everything. And let me just tell you to get a new passport, to um, get all the papers that you need during pandemic is an absolute nightmare that I think is um, ridiculous, but yeah. So when it comes to handbags, I feel like I have a whole little treasure here. This is one of my favorite ones to have during summer months. You remember the Chanel sandbag? I love it, but I think it's a little bit too early for it now. However, will I be able to come back before summer? I don't know. Here I have some like really incredible pieces. I have so much stuff. I just want to pick and choose something. And then from here as well, of course, the blazers. There's this one Chanel blazer that I literally never worn. Look, it still has a tag on and it's so beautiful. It's like the, what color would you call this? Like kind of beige with brown and white. And it's a tweed blazer. It's so beautiful. I also have this Chanel vintage one, but this one I have worn. I have all the summer dresses here. These are the day summer dresses and honestly, should I bring some summer dresses back? Should I bring some skirts? This is so cramped. I should probably pick some summer dresses because May is around the corner and I have a feeling that the world will become a better place in May. I'm trying to organize everything, but at the back you will notice there are so many, many boxes and crates of the things that I'm trying to clear out of the wardrobe because as I told you guys, we're putting so many things on the Depop account so that we can just, because I'm not wearing it anyway, sell it to some of you guys who will love it, appreciate it and who will actually, and then we can donate the money to the charity which I think is really nice. Also, the background noises is when you are leaving with the children. Here, I also thought, I've never actually shown you a box that my watch came in. Many of you have asked me about my watch, um, about a reseller that I got it from. And I think I, I think I have mentioned before to you guys that the watch did not come from a reseller. So it came like it's a new watch, but like I've never seen in my life a watch box 
like this have you ever seen anything like this because for me the answer is no so you receive this leather like pouch with what is this self wild movement okay the oops i hope the reference was not in it but anyway you get some kind of papers whatever you know the watch is from i think i have a date somewhere here first of december 2020 so pretty new but the box i've never seen anything like this in my life I don't, it's so heavy Ugh. never seen anything like this in my life look at this this is where it was but it's so spectacular but when you compare it to anything else like look at this wooden box many of you have asked me to do like a proper full-on watch related video and i can definitely do it i'm thinking of doing an updated jewelry collection video so i might pick up some of the pieces from my jewelry collection here which now ever since i'm actually in paris i have taken a few pieces here and there but not my hermes click locks the kelly watch there's like a lot of stuff that i left here because i either don't wear it anymore or i'm kind of over it a little bit or i don't know for what reason some of these pieces i really really love i just can't bring so much because i don't like to have actually too many items in my wardrobe and now because i know that many of you have wanted my little guest is it Stefan your name? I'm a grown up. Are oh, you a grown up? But how old are you? Six. Ta da! Hey bloggers, I think I bet you all know me. Been but, a while since I've come here. And how long is your hair now? Is this the corona hair? No, not really. What is it? Shall I well, cut it for you this time? Well my well my auntie has made my hair. And maybe in the next video she can record how she makes some hair. Mm, maybe style. not, I don't think. I some hairstyles. Like a little, like tutorials on how yeah. to do a six-year-old. Are you sure you're six? I thought you were 26. Um, six and a half now. Oh, six and a half. Well, that's like, that's almost 26, yeah. basically. Oh, is that your new hoodie? Yeah. Looks well. very nice, huh? Very nice. So well, all I can say, Stefo, is that you have grown a lot. People are asking how are you doing, they're saying they miss you. Okay, bloggers of Tedka. But they're not bloggers, they're viewers. Viewers? Okay. I don't want to say many of you have asked. You're like an influencer Tam one on one. Many yeah, of you Tamara have asked. Has just told me that you've Do you call me Tamara now? Okay, just for the viewers, you call me Tamara. Okay. Okay? Okay. And she's told me that many of you were looking forward to asking me how was my life. Yeah, they, they were asking how your life is, yeah. We well, see, pretty good. My brother was a bit naughty, you oh, see. no. Been is he up. always naughty? Well, not really. Sometimes he's good. Yeah. Yeah. And my parents, they're sort of good to me. Yeah, sort of good to <laughs> me. Okay, anyway, I think, I think this is the time we finish this vlog. I just need, like, a big, loud kiss. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. so happy. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Say, Thank you for having say me Say, please here, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Subscribe and like to, take, to Tamara's channel. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.